why over 100,000 EVs are retiring this year, and what really happens to their batteries. Before we jump into this electrifying discussion, here's a quick but important disclaimer. Everything shared here is purely for educational and informational purposes. All images, facts, and opinions belong to their respective owners, and we respect all trademarks and copyrights. Now let's dive right into today's incredible story. Hey EV fans and future forward thinkers, welcome back to EVpedia, your ultimate pit stop for everything electric vehicle related. If you're tuning in but still haven't subscribed, well, that's like owning an EV and never plugging it in. Don't leave us running on empty. Hit that subscribe button right now. Smash that like button and let's set a challenge together. Can we hit 15,000 likes and 1,200 comments in the next 24 hours? I believe in you. In fact, you are the spark that keeps this channel going. To all our regular viewers and loyal subscribers, you're the beating heart of EVpedia and we're grateful beyond words. So, here's a thought-provoking question for you. If over 100,000 EVs in the U.S. are retiring this year, what happens to all those batteries? Do they end up in landfills, or is there more to the story? If you think you know the answer, go ahead and drop your guess in the comments below. We love reading your insights. All right, buckle up, because this is where things get fascinating. The Second Life EV battery market is charging up for a massive boom, and at the center of this revolution is none other than Redwood Materials, led by former Tesla executive J.D. Straubel. But why are we even talking about Second Life? Well, even after years of driving and countless miles on the odometer, most EV batteries still retain over 50% of their original usable capacity. So throwing them away would be like tossing out a phone just because it only charges to 80%. Not very smart, right? Here's where the magic happens. Companies like Redwood are repurposing these still potent batteries into stationary energy storage systems, ESS. These systems help stabilize power grids, provide backup energy to commercial buildings, and even power rural microgrids far from traditional infrastructure. Redwood reports it's already handling around 20 gigawatt hours of batteries annually, equivalent to about 250,000 EVs. In fact, they're responsible for recycling a whopping 90% of all lithium-ion batteries and materials in North America. This isn't just recycling. It's creating a true circular economy where batteries live more than one life. Their new division, Redwood Energy, focuses on turning old EV batteries into modular ESS specifically for large-scale industrial and microgrid applications, unlike, say, Tesla's home Powerwall, which focuses on individual homes. Why? Because big data centers like the ones powering AI and even your chat GPT queries are consuming mountains of electricity and stressing out the grid. That's where these retired EV batteries come in, giving a second wind to our energy needs while keeping toxic chemicals out of landfills. It gets even cooler when you see how they do it. Once batteries are collected, they're carefully stored and put through rigorous diagnostic testing. If a battery still has meaningful capacity, it gets repurposed. Otherwise, it's fully recycled, recovering precious materials for brand new batteries. This process can happen at different levels, pack, module, or even down to individual cells. The deeper you go, say, all the way to the cell level, the higher the cost, but also the more precision in selecting only the best-performing cells for a new life. These second-life ESS batteries then go on to support things like data centers, rural solar or wind farms, and other commercial operations. Meanwhile, the global demand keeps surging. Last year, U.S. car buyers snapped up 1.3 million fully electric and plug-in hybrid vehicles, a 7.3% increase over the previous year, which means a whole tsunami of batteries will be retiring soon. Redwood estimates that more than 100,000 used EVs will retire in the U.S. just this year, and that number is only going to grow. Still, ID Tech X projects that recycling, recovering critical materials to make brand new batteries, will grow even faster than repurposing. By 2045, the global battery recycling market is expected to hit $52 billion, while the Second Life battery market is predicted to reach $5.2 billion by 2035. One correction worth noting, an earlier report suggested that Redwood's energy storage systems might also power homes. But for now, they're focusing exclusively on large-scale commercial and industrial use cases, the really big stuff. Now that we're halfway through, let me pause and ask, isn't this fascinating? And hey, if you're enjoying this, let's make sure we keep this conversation buzzing. How about this? Help us crush that goal of 15,000 likes and 1,200 comments. Tell us, where would you want to see these second-life batteries used in schools, remote villages, AI data centers, 
Let us know in the comments right now, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. It fuels our mission to bring you stories like this. As EVpedia, I have to say, this topic really excites me personally. Seeing retired EVs continue contributing to sustainability instead of becoming e-waste is inspiring. It's proof that technology can be smart and kind to the planet. But I'd love to hear what you think. Should we focus more on recycling materials or giving batteries a second life in ESS? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I read every single one. Before we wrap up, here's the answer to that burning question we asked at the start. No, those 100,000 retired EV batteries do not end up in landfills, at least not if companies like Redwood have their way. Instead, they're tested, repurposed into energy storage systems, and ultimately recycled to recover critical materials. And here's a fun fact to leave you with. Did you know that some retired EV batteries are being tested as backup power for entire sports stadiums? Imagine a stadium full of cheering fans running on old car batteries. Now, that's what I call a comeback story. So, what's your opinion on this incredible second life for EV batteries? Do you think it's enough to keep up with the massive wave of retired EVs in the coming years? Should governments invest more in this technology? Comment below, your voice matters. Finally, if you found this as fascinating as I did, don't leave without showing your support. Let's smash that goal of 15,000 likes and 1,200 comments. Your love and feedback keep us creating. Share this video with a friend who's curious about EVs. Hit that subscribe button to join the EVpedia family. And don't forget, your super thanks help us bring even more electrifying content to your screens. Stay charged, stay inspired, and as always, keep driving toward a cleaner future. See you in the next one.